Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. In this tutorial I'm quickly going to show you how you can create an impossible triangle like this one. To get started I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to press 6 on the keyboard which zooms me into full width of our page. I'm also going to go into File, down to Document Properties and I'm just going to turn off Show Page Border. So we've got a nice blank background to work on. I'm now going to go up, grab my Bezier tool, I'm going to click and holding down control, I'm going to drag out a line. Double click at the end, it just finishes off your line. So if we go up to the select tool, I'm going to duplicate this line, control D. I'm then going to hold down control and move my second one down. Just going to eyeball it. I think about there will do me. Then Control D again. Hold down Control to constrain it to uh, vertical movement. And round right about there will do, I think. So, what I do now is drag over all three of them. I'm going to open up my Align and Distribute menu. So, I'm just going to space them evenly vertically. There we go. Now I'm going to group all of these. I'm going to then control D to duplicate them. I'm going to click on it again to get rotation handles. Then I'm going to hold down control to constrain it to increments of uh, 15 degrees. So we want to move it around till it says rotation 60 at the bottom. So we're going for an equilateral triangle. And then Hold down my scroll button so I can drag up the the canvas. Just going to snap them together on the cusp nodes at the end. Control D to duplicate again. Then I'm going to click on it once more to get rotation handles. Hold down to Control so we can just rotate it in increments of 15 degrees. And Actually, I quite like the way that triangle's lined up there. So I'm just going to hold control, roll my mouse wheel to zoom in a bit, drag it to where I want it. And I'm going to reduce the opacity. So if we go up to the top, we can click on our fill and stroke menu box. So we've got a fill and stroke menu box. So all I'm going to do is... Hold on, let's... Reduce down. I'm going to group all of these. So we drag a box over the whole lot, group them at the top, and then I'm going to reduce the opacity to about halfway. I can then hold down control and zoom in. So now we've got our guidelines. I'm going to trace out the shape that I want. Um, I want to snap to the intersections in the lines. So if we go over to our snapping menu on the right hand side, I want to make sure in the second section that snap to intersections is highlighted. So now with our Bezier tool, we're going to start at the bottom here and I'm just going to quickly draw around the shape that I want. We'll put a bit of fill in there so we can see what we're doing. Let's give it a lighter colour. So this is the shape we want. We don't need the guidelines anymore. So we can go up and get our selection tool. We'll select the guidelines at the back and delete them. We're then going to take our shape. We're going to control D to duplicate. We're going to hold down, double click it to get the rotation handles. We're going to hold down control to constrain it to increments of 15 degrees, we're going to rotate it round. And then we're just going to move it up and snap it into place. Then Control D to duplicate again. Holding Control, get our rotation handles and we're going to rotate it round. And snap it into place. That gives us our 3D triangle or our impossible triangle. Next thing I want to do is add some gradients. So we go over to our fill and stroke box. I'm going to click on the uh, linear gradient. 
I'm then going to get my gradient tool and we click on the second node. We want this to be white and fully opaque. So now we've got the gradient we want, we just want it in the right position. So I'm going to move that one up slightly. We'll take snapping off for now. Grab the wrong end. That'll do me for that one. Go on to the next one. We can click on our gradient that we want. This one, I'm just going to grab the gradient tool. I'm going to put the oh, wrong end. Let's put that one down the bottom. And the blue end or blue stop we want at the top. Click on the next one and this one I'm going to have the blue stop on the right hand side and the white stop. I'm just going to adjust this one slightly. If I drag the stop down it will darken up the bottom of the triangle. I think that'll do us. I think what I might do, so we close out to give it a bit of contrast, I'm going to get the rectangle tool. I'm going to drag a large rectangle right over the top. And in the fill I'm just going to turn it black. Put the opacity right up. Get my selection tool, drop it to the back. Now if we hold down control, we can just zoom in. There we have it. Oh, that one has the wrong gradient, so we just change the gradient. Get our gradient tool, just drag that out slightly just to darken the upper touch. And there we have it, an impossible triangle. Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you in the next video.